We're on the back roads on 101.7 KSAM. Good to have you along on this Saturday night. We have a special guest in the studio. We have Cameron James Smith. How are you doing tonight? Doing great. Glad to be here. All the way from Amarillo, the other side of the state. Amarillo, Texas. Yes, sir. I, I yes, tell sir. you. It's, Forever and a day away. <laughs> man, oh, man. That's about right. And, and and once we get done with our interview here, you're hitting the road to head straight home. I am. Yep. That is a long drive, about man. About seven, seven and a half hours. Gosh, yeah. you're going to have to coffee up. Yeah, I told my wife. <laughs> she was like, so what time do you think you're going to be home? And I was like, probably after you're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Well, let's let's tell the folks who you are, a Texas country artist. You're from the Panhandle. Uh, tell us a little bit about you. Yes, sir. So uh, I, I grew up in Amarillo. Um, I've been in Amarillo my entire life. Um and I, I started um, singing uh, with my mom. Um, she was on the worship team at our church. And so I started singing along to the, uh, the gospel radio with her in the car. And that's how I learned to do harmonies and, and sing along with her. And then as soon as I could, my parents made me start out on keys. But then when I was like, I think, eight, but I was begging them to let me play guitar. And finally, they let me play guitar when I was 10, and I haven't put it down ever since. And so I've been playing guitar for about 14 years now. Wow. And uh, and then as soon as I could, you know, put a song together where I could sing and play a guitar, I played it, like, I think, talent show in fifth grade and just kept doing talent shows and um, <clears throat> playing on worship teams and whatnot. And uh, the lead in worship is a big part of my story as well. I'm also a worship leader on Sunday mornings. And so... Um, so I was just playing a lot, and then when I was 19, my brother started a uh, 80s rock cover band, and they needed a lead singer. And so I jumped in and started singing, singing <laughs> 80s rock three, you know, three hours, you know, two, three nights a week, and and that was crazy. And for about two years, I did that, and I was like, guys, I need my voice needs a break. Um, <laughs> I love country music. I had just discovered country music when I was uh, 18. And I was in high school, or sorry, 17, and. I think I was a junior in high school. I just had discovered it. And I, I was like, guys, can we please sing some country songs? Because I love country. My voice needs a break. I can't sing Steve Perry and, you know, <laughs> <clears throat> David Lee Roth, just back to back to back. And they're like, okay, fine. And then they all fell in love with country as well. And uh, we kept we kept doing kind of the cover band thing for a few years. And then um, that we did that through college. Everybody graduated college. And those of us that wanted to keep playing music, um, we kind of formed a new band. And I'd been releasing – I'd been writing – of my own music and so i released my first uh song this heart belongs in texas last january or last february and it got up to number 38 on the texas country music chart and i was like well there might be something here yeah. and so uh so i just kept kept writing kept releasing i'm on my third single now and it's been a blast so you discovered country music when you were 18 you said i was i think i was 17 17 or yeah. 18 yeah uh, so what artist was it that just grabbed you uh f the first artist that grabbed me was luke combs and um, I remember because when I first discovered country music, he was just starting. He released his like first song. And I remember the guy on the radio saying, Luke Combs, you're going to be hearing that name for a while. And I was like, interesting. Like, I've never heard that name before. And man, sure enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he blew huge. up. He, he's huge. So um, I started out kind of in the Nashville, uh, <clears throat> Nashville modern country, and then started moving over into some of the Texas country. And um, one of my very first favorite Texas country artists was Cody Johnson. I um, mean, then he, of course, has gone gone modern, gone more Nashville. You're but sitting in his hometown right now. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's an honor. I was I was like, wow, Huntsville. <laughs> and uh, But then <clears throat> I discovered Aaron Watson. Aaron Watson's one of my favorites. Um, yeah, of course, George Strait. I went through the entire, uh, the entire discography of George Strait last summer and was like, I've got to educate myself. And man, man, his stuff is incredible. Uh, it's like everything he touches turns to gold. Yeah, it does. And... Um, so Aaron Watson, uh, one of my favorites also is actually Granger Smith, okay. um, and he's just now stopped doing music to become a pastor, but he did Texas Country for a while, Yeah. Um, and Curtis Grimes, and and I don't know, just there's such a there's such a cool culture, I think, to Texas Country music um, that I've found, and 
and I'm falling in love with it a lot. That's fantastic. All right, so you have a brand new song called Small Town Texas. Tell us about that song. Yes, sir. So uh, I wrote it with a buddy of mine who's from a, a small town north of Amarillo. So Amarillo is not a small town. Is there it's, something north of Amarillo? There is. There's there's actually quite a bit north of Amarillo, uh, but... Jackrabbits uh, and yeah. rattlesnakes. Yeah, a bunch of really small <laughs> towns, and we've gotten to go play music in a lot of them, but there's this town... A, I need to figure out exactly how many miles. I want to say somewhere in 50 to 100 miles north of Amarillo, and it's called Sunray, Texas, and it's a small, small town. And he grew up there. His dad flew a, uh, a crop-dusting plane. Um, and then when he was, I believe, 20 or 21, he moved to Nashville to become an artist. And he tried to do that for 10 years, and, man, he decided he really loved just writing and producing. And so he's still there. And um, so I actually go to Nashville to write with him. And uh, But he's from small town Texas, which is a blast. And so um, we wrote this song about what do you do on Friday night when – uh, in a small town, because when it when there's football, you just do football. Yep. But when there's not football, the rest of the year, you know, you you cook your own meat and you go out and feel. Because there's not a movie theater, you know. There's not a. <laughs> That's right. You know, and so you have a bonfire, and yeah, we we came there up with go. this song. All right. Well, folks, we're going to play that song right now. You're listening to the Backroads with our special guest, Cameron James Smith. That is Small Town Texas from Cameron James Smith here on the Back Roads tonight. Cameron is in the studio with us. What a wonderful song. Thank you very much. Takes me takes me back home. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> uh, I, I like to tell folks here on the Back Roads that uh, to uh, pop the tailgate, crack open a cold one, and turn up the radio because we're on the Back Roads tonight. There you go, yeah. And, uh, and, and sometimes on those small town, uh, those small town Texas uh, nights, that's all you got to do is mm-hmm. just pop – Pop a cold one and sit on the tailgate and watch the stars. Just hanging out. Yeah, it's, that's right. It's a blast, yeah. Good stuff. All right, so tell us, what are your plans right now? Are you playing gigs? Are you looking for gigs? Mm-hmm. Uh, what's your plans? Yeah, so I've got, I've got a band uh, back in Amarillo, and we're we're booked solid. We play just about every Friday and Saturday night right now. Um, but I'm looking uh, next year, actually, to get into a little bit uh, more regional touring. Okay. Because uh, I've been concentrated in Amarillo and the areas around Amarillo for about five years. Um, and and uh, getting out on a radio tour and meeting so many great people, I'm like, man, I need to get, I need to get south. <laughs> There's so much, you know, south of Amarillo. And, There's a whole lot of uh, state down yeah, here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so um, I'm trying to figure out how logistically to put that together uh, right now. But a goal of mine is to do some touring next year. Um, actually, let's see here. Uh, in about five or six days, uh, next Wednesday, I'm going um, to nashville driving to nashville and uh, recording five new songs and so i'll have an ep uh to be able to release early next uh spring right okay. after spring break very good so yeah i'm looking forward to that getting new music out because um when you're a, when you're a new artist you know you have to it, it takes a lot to record and uh, you got to have the right songs and it feels like it's a race race to get good songs out there but you also have to balance quantity and quality because if you just throw a whole bunch of stuff out there you know and it's not quality then that's not good but then if you if you wait 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 and get really good quality songs you have like three songs out there for like a year and a half which is where I've been <laughs> yeah right and so um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to getting getting 10 songs out there and just having having a good repertoire of music. Man, that'll be great. That'll be great. All right, well, you brought your guitar in with you. So you're going to play us a little something? Absolutely, yeah. So I'm uh, this this song I'm about to play was my second radio single that I released. I released it last uh, fall. Uh, I got up to, I believe, 46 or 48 on the Texas Country Music Chart. This one's called Two Left Feet. And uh, I went out dancing with uh, my wife, who was my girlfriend at the time, and uh we just could not hear the beat at all. Um, I don't know why, because I consider myself an okay dancer, but man, that <laughs> night was bad, and we couldn't hear it at all. We couldn't even step along to the beat, and I was like, man, I really have two left feet, and that's a good idea for a song. And so next time I went co-writing, I was like, hey, guys, I got an idea for a song, and this is what we wrote. Two left feet. Nice. We're sitting on the back roads tonight uh, with Cameron James Smith, learning a little bit about him and hearing some of his fantastic music. Of course, we heard Small Town Texas uh, earlier on. And um, so do you already have another song picked out for the future? 
Yes. Yeah, I do, actually. Um, so I it won't be a radio single, um, but I'm releasing a, another single um, probably very beginning of next year. It's hard to time things because once you get right. past, like, Thanksgiving, like, Oh yeah, the whole world gets crazy. Yeah. yeah, so there's no point in releasing any new music, um, and so, um, so we're doing we're we're promoting small town Texas right now, big as much as we can. So then you can't release another song while you're promoting a s- current song. <laughs> right. And so right. Uh, but I've got one um, ready to go um, for next January. I wrote it. Um, so I uh, did long distance with my wife for a year and a half. She lived in Arlington. I lived in Amarillo. And she was uh, finishing up nursing school. Mm-hmm. And so um, about every other week, I would have to drive that you know, three, 300, 400 miles over to Dallas and get yeah. to see her for like a day or a day and a <laughs> half and then go back home. And wow. I'm really thankful we don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> Good deal. Good deal. All right. So if listeners want to go get your music, where can they go find it right now? Yeah. So... Um, my landing page right now, uh, with all of my info, is uh, on Facebook, actually, Cameron James Smith Music. Um, that's where I've got all of my upcoming gigs and uh, posts and everything about my music. If you want to just go hear my music, uh, Cameron James Smith, you can look it up, Spotify, Apple Music, or YouTube. I've got a music video out for every song that I have out right now, and we're trying to stay on having music videos out for everything. So I've got four songs up right now, and all of them have music videos. Fantastic. So definitely go check those out. Cameron James Smith, our guest today. Tonight on the back roads, Cameron. I think you need to go get some coffee before you hit the road. <laughs> uh, you'll be in Amarillo by morning. Yes, sir. Yes, All sir. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you for having me.